All right, in this video, we're going to be solving a water bill problem in Excel. And let's begin. The question says that ID name and usage of water of two areas are given. Calculate water bill, VAT, and total bill according to VAT, and display the results of two areas in chart. The rate of water has been given. Sorry, the rate of pricing has been given. Uh, this many dollars per gallon, and the VAT is 3%. Okay. So let's begin. Before we begin, let's just make it look a bit better. As always, I'm making it bold and I'm taking it in the center. All right. Now, before I begin, let's just write the rate and the VAT here. Okay. So this is going to be my rate. Let's write the rate here, which is 0 0.00295. Done. And then let's get the bat here, which is going to be 3%. Okay, there you go. 3% or let's write it like that. 0 0.03. Okay, now we're done. Now let's make it better as well. There you go. And here you go. Okay, done. Now let's make it look like a bit of a table go to borders here then all borders click on all borders there you go let's do the same thing with this one click on all borders and we're done now let's first calculate the water bill so in this column i'll just write bill there we go now we we'll give our formula equals to our rates cell now remember, I'm going to fix our rate cell by using the dollar sign, as we have learned in the previous videos. Then give the multiplication sign, and then choose the usage cell. Hit enter, and we have our bill here. Okay, there we go. That's the bill. And then let's give that. Okay, we're going to go for VAT this time, give the formula, and now this cell, and multiply it with the rate of VAT, and hit enter. Alright, uh, the 3% VAT is actually based on the price you are giving, so that's why I have multiplied it with the bill cell, not with the water usage cell. Well, that's very obvious, but still. Then let's duplicate the formulas here. Okay, it's not working. Can you tell me why? Because I have not fixed my VAT cell. Okay, so let's fix that problem here. It is A13, right? Let's fix it. A13. Now hit enter. Now copy it again. And there we go. We have it here. Okay. We have our bet as well. Now we're going for the total. So total bill, including VAT. All right. So for total bill, including VAT, we're just going to add up these two cells. Okay. For that, we can use sum equal sum. Then just give these two cells, and then hit enter, and then we will have the total bill. But if I do that, you can see that there are a lot of decimal values here. I do not want them. I want integer values, meaning if there's 1.5, it's going to be charged $2. And if it's 1.3, and meaning less than 5, in the customer will be charged $1 only. I want to charge like that. If I want to do that, I'm just going to delete the sum formula and we're going to use a new formula which is integer. So just write int, then first bracket, then give our first value here, give a plus symbol, and then our second value here, and then close the bracket and hit enter. As you can see, the values will be now displayed in integer. Okay, there we go. So these are the integer values and as you can see there are zeros a lot of zeros because the usage is very less so let me just um, make the usages a bit bigger so that it would be a bit more relevant well i'm not used to gallons that's why i didn't know how much value to put okay so let me just fix that quickly 
all right now I have changed the values so the total bill looks a bit better now all right now what I want to do is I want to give dollar sign to each of the values instead of just writing dollar in here like that instead of doing that I want to show dollar on beside the numbers to do that I'm just going to choose all the numbers by choose I mean select and then do a right click and then go to format cells from here go to currency there we go currency and then we are going to uh, place two decimals, we can place two decimals, we can place zero decimals. So right now I'm placing zero decimals and the symbol. You can choose uh, from the symbols, I'm taking dollar symbol and then click on OK. And as you can see, the dollar symbol has been applied to all the values. Okay, so that was uh, it for uh, calculating water bill, wet and total bill. Now we have to display the results of two areas in chart so before we can do that i need the summation of the total amount of bills of two areas now to do that i'm just going to sort the areas just like the last time click on this cell of area value then go to short, sort and filter go to sort smallest to largest and it has been sorted okay now let's just, just now as you can see this time the sorting uh, did not work correctly because when I have sorted it uh, the sorting took all of the cells in consideration meaning these ones as well and the values has been shifted that's why the formula is not showing anything to fix that I'm just going to hit Control Z there we go now this time I have to select all the values like that before I sort then we go to sort and filter go to sort smallest to largest and select continue with the current selection and then click on sort now it has been sorted properly now we are going to do subtotal to do that click on any value containing cell then go to data go to subtotal and we're going to be doing it for total bills and it's going to be area wise at each change area then click on ok there we go we have the total of area 1 here total of area 2 here and the grand total is given here now we have to represent these two values in graph okay so to do that let's just write the uh, values here so write area 1 value here and area 2 value is going to be here so this cell is going to be equal to same as this cell then hit enter and then this cell is going to be equal to i'm sorry about that this cell hit enter okay now we're going to be making a chart out of it so to do that i'm just going to select all the cells then we're going to go to insert after going there we're going to take a pie chart here let's click on the pie chart go to 2d pie and it is showing our chart all right and as you can see that area one uh, has a total of 83 dollars same as area two that's why the uh, red area and the blue area is the same now you can uh, edit the chart title just select the chart title here and go to the formulas bar and write whatever you want to write for the title water bill of areas and hit enter as you can see the title has been changed okay now let's just let's just say that I no longer want a pie chart I want a bar chart so we can change to but before that let's just do a few more things click on the plus here then go to data labels click on this short arrow then you can choose if the values are going to be in the center or the inside end or the outside end best fit data call out or more options now data call out also shows you the percentage of the total circular area according to our area one and area two okay so let's just uh, not do any of those because i'm going to change the cell sorry not the cell but the graph now let's go to insert again and just click on 
the bar chart and the chart is changed okay now with the bar charts you can also give the axis titles here now the dollar symbols are shown here that's why you know, do not need the axis titles but if you had in need of those you can just click on the plus sign then here's the axis titles you can just check the box or go to the arrow for more options primary horizontal primary vertical uh, if you just check the box then the axis title will be applied to the horizontal as well as the vertical but if you just want on one direction then you can click on this arrow go here and choose if you just want it on the vertical side click on the vertical box arrow if you just want on the horizontal side just click on the horizontal side arrow okay so that's how you can do that uh, I'm not giving any accesses because I don't need them because the values are showing in dollars okay now that we have completed it there's another thing if I change any values here the total values will get changed and the calculation will be changed automatically I don't need to do anything else and the graph will also the chart will also be updated as well okay so what we can do now is just let's just say I'll change the value here hit enter and as you can see the chart has also been updated okay the chart has been updated because the values here have been updated I had assigned this cell to represent this cell and this cell has been updated because I have updated this value thus the graph has also been updated so that is how you can calculate a water bill of areas that is how you can do integer values how you can apply dollar signs to your data and then this is how you can make your charts in Microsoft Excel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.